Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In our previous video, we have discussed about uh, the buck converter. If you missed it, the link is in the description below. But today, we are talking things up a notch, literally. We are going to explore the fascinating world of boost converter circuits that can actually increase your input voltage. So, what exactly? The boost converter. Well, imagine you have a 12 volt battery, but uh, we need 24 volt to power a specific device. A boost converter is the magic box that makes that happen. It is a type of switch mode DC DC converter that steps up input order to a higher voltage output. Let's take a look at the fundamental components of boost converter circuit. We have the DC input voltage V in and it is our starting voltage and the inductor L. This is the crucial component store the energy and the semiconductor switch that is M1. It is a typically MOSFET rapidly turning on and off. And the diode it allows current flow in one direction. And the smoothing capacitor, which usually we can call it as C out, it is the output to smooth out the output voltage. And the load resistor. R1. So we can call it as Rn represents the device we are powering. Now let's get part of how this circuit actually boosts the voltage. It all comes down to the switching action of MOSFET. Now two main states. One is on state and uh, another one is off state. During the on state, when the MOSFET is closed, the inductor is directly connected to the input source and current start to flow through the inductor and uh, stores the energy in it in the form of uh, magnetic field and uh, passes it through the MOSFET M1. And diode is in reverse bias condition. There is no current flow through the output. Okay. So that we can call during the on state, the voltage across the inductor VL is equal to the input voltage V. The voltage across the inductor during the on time T on is simply equal to the input voltage V. In. Using Faraday's law of induction, we know that change in the current through the inductor delta IL is related to the voltage and the inductance. Delta IL when it is on is equal to V in into T on divided by the inductor L. Now let's look at the off state when the MOSFET is in open condition. The current through the inductor can no longer flow through the MOSFET due to the inductor's property of causing changes in current. It now forces the current flow through the diode, the capacitor and the load. During the off time, which we can call it as T off. The voltage across the inductor reverses its polarity okay? and is now equal to output voltage minus with the input voltage. That is V out minus V in. The change in the current during the off state we can notify as 
delta i l of is equal to v out minus v in divided by inductor l into t of in the steady state condition the change in the current during the on time must be equal in magnitude to the change in the current during the off time so if we equate to this expression t1 and t of we can represent it as v in minus t on divided by l is equal to v out minus v in divided by l into t of we can cancel out the inductor from both side and uh, rearrange this equation to find the relationship between input voltage output voltage and duty cycle the duty cycle is defined as the ratio of the on time to the total switching time therefore d is equal to t on divided by t total time which is is equal to t on divided by t on plus t off now let us manipulate our previous equation which is vn into t on is equal to v out minus v in into t off so that v in into t on is equal to v out into t off minus v out into v in into t off so that v in into t on plus t off is equal to v out into t off so that v in into total t is equal to v out into t off so that v out is equal to v in into t divided by t off since the t off is equal to t minus t on we can rewrite the denomination v out is equal to v in into t divided by t minus t on which is equal to v in into 1 divided by 1 minus t on divided by t finally substituting the duty cycle d we will get v out is equal to v in divided by 1 minus duty cycle this is the fundamental equation for an ideal bus converter it uh, clearly shows that the duty cycle increases meaning the switch is one of the larger portion of the switching period the output voltage v out increases it is clearly shows that the duty cycle d increases the output voltage v out will increases relative to the input voltage v in notice that the d must be between 0 and 1 as duty cycle approaches 1 the output voltage theoretically approaches infinity although in reality losses in the circuit will limit this okay now that you understand the theory let us jump into the lt spice and see this in action we have designed a boost converter it takes input as a 12 volt and uh, converted into 24 volt and we have considered input source input source as a 12 volt and the inductor and the nmos transistor as our switch and the diode 
and the capacitor and the load resistor R1. Let's set our input voltage to 12 volt to get output voltage as 24 volt. We can use our formula to calculate required duty cycle which is V out is equal to V in divided by 1 minus duty cycle. So as per the value our output voltage is 24 volt which is equal to 12 volt divided by 1 minus D. 1 minus D is equal to 12 volt divided by 24 volt which is equal to 0 0.5. So that duty cycle D is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 which is equal to 0 0.5. So we need a duty cycle of 0 0.5 or it is 50 percent. To achieve this, let us choose a switching frequency says 50 kilohertz. This means that our switching time period T is equal to 1 by F which is equal to 1 divided by 50 into 10 to the power of 3 hertz which is equal to the total time period T is equal to 20 micro second and uh, now we can calculate the T on time so that T on is equal to duty cycle into T which is equal to 0 0.5 into 20 micro second which is equal to 10 micro second. As per this calculation, we have a 50 percent of duty cycle so that T on time will be 10 microsecond. Similarly, T of time will be 10 microsecond and total time period will be 20 microsecond. See, let us set the similar in the our LT spice source configuration, gate voltage configuration. Here, initial voltage is 0 volt and uh, the T on time is 12 volt and delay is 0 and T rise and T fall also 0 and T on is 10 microsecond and similarly total time period will be 20 microsecond. Now we need to choose the appropriate value of inductor and the capacitor. The value of this value will affect the ripple in our current and the voltage. So for this example, we had considered 100 micro Henry of inductor and uh, the 100 micro period of capacitor and uh, 10 ohm resistor as a load resistance. And uh, let us run our simulation. All right, let's analyze the result. However, our input voltage which is a constant 12 volt and uh, look at the output voltage, the blue color. It is hovering right around our target of 24 volt. See, you can see here our inductor current. Let's look at our inductor current. You can see here, it is ramping up during the on time and uh, similarly it is ramping down in the during the off time, maintaining the average current flow. Of course, in this ideal simulation, in the real world circuit, we would have losses in the components such as MOSFET, on resistance, and the diode, forward voltage drop, which would slightly affect the output voltage and the efficiency. So there we have it. We have designed it and simulated a boost converter in LT spice and uh, we have seen how the fundamental formulas V out is equal to V in divided by 1 minus duty cycle holds true. By controlling the duty cycle of the switching signal, we can effectively step up the input voltage to desired 
higher output voltage. Hopefully this video gives you a clear understanding of how boost converter works and how to stimulate them. If you have any question, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more power electronic tutorials. Let us see you in the next video. Thank you for the watching. Thank you.